Let's talk about hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Hands down, this is one of the most incredible therapies. It's not weird. It's very credible. It's been thoroughly researched with hardcore science uh, by the military. It's in hospitals, and people are even getting reimbursed from their insurance. So how does it work? When you breathe air, you're only getting 21% actual oxygen. So hyperbaric oxygen therapy raises that oxygen to nearly 100%, and you're put in this pressurized, closed environment. So the oxygen can not just go into your lung, it goes right into your tissues, and it goes into your blood, and your blood carries it to the organs. And it basically feeds the different tissues that have hypoxia. Okay, that's areas where there's no oxygen. It could be from some trauma or infection or from anything. So simply, it's driving a high amount of concentrated oxygen into injured tissues. It also has the capacity to stimulate stem cells by 800%. Stem cells are basically undifferentiated cells. They're cells that don't have a purpose that turn into certain cells. So this therapy targets things like dementia, stroke, heart problems, definitely things like angina or coronary heart disease, asthma, other lung conditions like COPD, emphysema, inflammatory conditions, like autoimmune conditions, especially things like MS, brain trauma, carbon dioxide poisoning, anemia, inflammation after injuries, unhealing wounds. It has a profound effect on your DNA and genes, but to start affecting the genes, you'd have to get between 25 and 35 treatments over a period of time. Um, it has the capacity to explode mitochondria in tumor cells. The mitochondria have a different type of metabolism. They're, they no longer have the respiratory type metabolism. They have the metabolism that's fermenting sugar. And when that happens, these tumor or cancer cells don't die anymore. They live forever and they keep growing. They keep dividing. So we don't want them in our bodies. This is a great therapy for tumors and even cancer. One common factor of tumors is something called angiogenesis, and that basically is the new blood vessels that feed the tumor, because the tumor needs a lot of oxygen and nutrients. In fact, it tends to hog all the fuel, the, the glucose, but without those blood vessels, it can't survive. So this therapy has the ability to shrink or inhibit angiogenesis. What triggers angiogenesis is basically hypoxia, a lack of oxygen. So if you give the body oxygen, it won't develop. Also, post-traumatic stress disorder. Now, as far as the time that you're in this chamber, one to two hours, maybe three times a week, for several weeks. It really depends on what you're using it for. Is it something there's a lot of damage for, or you're doing it for maintenance or anti-aging? So you can get this several ways. One is just doing a search in your area, hyperbaric oxygen therapy near me, and finding a place that you can go to and get this done. Probably get a prescription from your doctor. Some people actually buy or rent a unit and bring it in their home. But it's a very valid, incredible, and effective therapy. So check it out. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.